everyone from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. You know, I was just reflecting with the Lord, and I'm just so glad and relieved that I don't need to be anyone except who I was created to be. And that's a full-time job in itself, right? To be faithful and to be true to God, to be the best steward you can, to be an excellent steward of the one-of-a-kind you that you and I are. Our fingerprints prove that we are unique in Yeshua. He hand fashioned us and he loves us because he loves us because he loves us because he loves us. So anyway, so many of you have been inquiring how I'm doing and I've been sharing lately that I have come to a point in the Lord where I am not watching any more social media videos nothing of the war. Whatever God wants me to know, he will surely let me know. Um, it's not good for me because I need to be the best individual I can. We're called to occupy. The word of God tells us to occupy. Well, how can we occupy and be the most efficient human being in God, with, filled with his spirit, doing great and mighty things in him as he leads and calls us, right? Yeshua said he only did what he saw the Father doing. Well, how can we do that if we're flattened out like a pancake because we're not being responsible with our eye gates and our ear gates, what we see and what we hear? And that can traumatize us all in itself. And that can cause such terror and fright that you'd be afraid to leave your home. And I got to that place because of all the things that I've seen and heard, and I didn't even see the worst of it. I, I didn't, I won't allow myself, because I know how that can affect me. Well, I wanna occupy, and I wanna do what I'm called to do, which is to worship on his holy hill, especially during the war. What an honor and privilege to worship Elohim here on his holy hill. Amazing. So let's not take our lives for granted and let's really live this day to the fullest. Let's not assume anything. We don't know if we'll have breath tomorrow. Only God knows. He is so good. And when the Holy Spirit is nudging you to do something, to talk to someone, to share the good news, whenever and whatever and with whomever, be faithful. He's calling us to be faithful through thick and thin, sending you love from the city of the great king, Yerushalayim.